This playthrough is rated T for teen. It's time for that long-awaited nap. Greetings and salutations, viewers. One over here with the finale of Le Legend of Kyrandia Book 3, Malcolm's Revenge. In the last episode, we went to the Island of Cats, got the gems, and now we have to get the pirates off this place. But we need one thing before we can do that. So let's drop let's drop uh, the machete. We don't need that anymore. So let's go to the uh, junkyard and grab some of the stuff we lost before. Mainly the collar is what we need. So let's head back. Uh, we can also drop off the cheese maker here. We don't need this immediately. Uh, let's see. Could start grabbing a few other things. Actually, we'll let me drop the the uh, king's image there. Oh boy. Yeah, I need that. I wonder. Uh, okay, no, I, that. I need a bent nail. I, I guess because uh, I want a nail and a bent nail. So I just love other people's trash. There we go. So since we don't need to uh, do the squirrel anymore, <laughs> sorry, poor choice of words. We don't need the squirrel anymore. Uh, we don't need the uh, nut on the string to be normal. So we need to turn it into a fish hook. So we'll need to use some fishing later, and I'll tell you why here in a second. All right, let's uh, go get uh, let's go get these pirates off of our island. Hello, sir. I have a diamond for you. Beautiful. Hey, JC, take a look at these. Thanks. You're not such a bad jester after all. Even though you did what you did to me. You have the jewels? I warn you, do not toy with his emotions. If you have the jewels, give them to me. Otherwise, beat it. You have the jewels. I okay. warn you. Else it's said. not my uh, I, I should Does that mean you don't Okay. I was just thinking if anyone else had anything before we Malcolm. do this. Get help. Okay, well anyway, so he wants some jewels, huh? Well, looks like he's a little bit busy. How about this jewel? This looks like an interesting piece of jewelry. How beautiful. I ask you all. Who is the most handsome monarch in Karendia? What good timing. I think the queen is back on her throne. Hey, Jean-Claude, do you like to play tic-tac-toe? Ah, how fun. I hope he's okay down there. Why don't you go find out? So he's going to be playing tic-tac-toe for eternity. So yeah, we finally get rid of the pirates and give the travel agent points for that. Get us out of here, Malcolm. Uh, not right now. Yeah. Isn't I... there a living room in this castle? Yeah, I don't want the authority to be able to run around. I still got the thing to do. Get us out of here. Uh... Okay. Don't think this absolves you of your heinous crimes, Malcolm. You know I have committed no crimes, Kalik. Yeah, apparently Malcolm's all, all bad I didn't kill the king with that knife. We'll have to figure out about that. Don't think you... Okay. Am I s Okay, let's get out of here. Uh, sweet revenge. All right, now the pirates are out of here. Now we gotta do one other thing. We need to, uh, we need to, well, prove that we didn't do what we actually did. Because Malcolm believes it so heartily, so we must believe it wholeheartedly as well. So let's get rid of most of these gems here. So I need a few more items before we can do this. <clears throat> Great. Yeah, don't need I, that. Don't need that. I need to. Oh wait, what the? Hey, Malcolm, over here! Help! Uh, okay. What happened? Why are you guys locked in there? Let's see. There's a di yeah. There's the diamond we uh, turned into him. So if you turned in any, you can turn in multiple gems to him, and uh, you'll get these all back if you. Uh, um, uh, at the front here. It's whatever is in there because you can never go back to the, the main room. So that's why everything's out in the front here, so. They gave me some porridge, but it was lumpy. You spoiled. I'd like to... Oh. Does that mean you... If... How'd you they get gave in me... here? I'd... I must be released. You're not... Karandia needs its kid. Why are they saying this? You're at it. My... I feel like this is not supposed to be the case. He said, hey, over here. My... And then... But anyway, so we need to, uh, let's see. I need some Great. more. Great. Yeah. I just, I just there love we go. other people. Need a couple of flasks. I I also need uh, some broken flasks. I guess I could use the, the oh. machete. I, I, 
Yeah, let's see if that'll that might work actually. I don't. The broken flask is just for very for a couple specific items. Okay, let's see if that'll work. I think it will. It just has to be something that'll cut. So let's uh, grab a couple of these. <laughs> Nuts. I guess I do need the broken bottle because it's too, uh, or broken flask or something similar to that because it can't cut the, uh, the thing. So, all right. I wonder if I can. There we go. Oh, nice. Uh, actually, I think I might have another flask around here somewhere, like in the uh, town. That might be the case. Hope I can actually get down to the bottom screen there. <laughs> all right. I wonder if the flowers have respawned yet or not. Nope. Okay. So I'll do uh go to the dairy, which I need to go to the dairy anyway, so I also need to grab some other things. Ah, here's some uh, monkey junipers. I, ne I need two of those for, we need to talk to the queen, so about, uh, you know, Where is telling them that we are free. I, the game doesn't straight up say it, but yeah, we're basically trying to prove our freedom at this point, so. Gotcha. Alright. I don't think I need the broken flask anymore. I think I'm good. Uh, let's see. I uh, know. Maybe I left that. Okay, never mind. I need one more flask. I thought I left it in the the town area, but I guess not. Actually, what is uh Does Anthea have anything to say? They'll they'll probably say like what I'm actually. I know what I'm supposed to do, but I want to see if there's like an indication. Actually, I think a couple places have now opened too. Yeah, now that we got rid of the pirates, a lot of the people have come back to town. So hey. Do you have any cheese? Xanthia's all out. No, not quite. Do you have any che I mean, I have a cheese maker, but... I'm the only one who operates this machine, Malcolm. But it's broken. Well, at least the... Yeah. Fish cream! Okay, so, what... Actually, uh, let's see, what do... Uh... We can't do anything until the machine is repaired. Okay, wait a minute. All right, I need to grab a couple of uh, eels as well since we're here. Might as well. Let's get some down this way. I also got the three sesame seeds last episode from Herman. Ow! All right, let's uh, fish for some eels. Great. This would make a who would. All right, there's the eel. I need a couple more of those. Great. <clears throat> hmm. An indoor. Oh. Who would? Who would? Hey, yeah, it's like right under me, so I have to like click away from myself just to just to do it. So let's uh, grab one more. Hmm. Okay, I'll have to leave and come back. So. Only a couple at a time. Why aren't there any decorations in mine? It okay. Well, say so Xanthia went back home. Let's get on with the trial. I don't think those pirates will be bothering Karandia anymore. That is good. Now you must assemble all the Corandian citizens. How do we do that, though? Show me the artifacts you plan to use to summon William's ghost. Ah, okay. Show me. Okay. Well, anyway, so yeah, we need to get everyone together for the trial. So, uh, so we need to figure out, so what is everyone like in town that would cause them all hmm. to... Okay, so I have to... I wonder if I could drop. I, I wonder if I have to drop them off. And, yeah. Yep. Let me see if I can drop the off the eels and then uh, go back down. Ow. I shouldn't have to be able. To, shouldn't have to do that. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Maybe it's because I've got the two I, eels in my inventory. I, so let me go ahead and use them. Yeah. Yep. Make what I need to make anyway. So. All right. So let's see if Xanthia is back at her house. Nope, she's not back at her house. Actually, I'm not sure where Xanthia disappears to. I know we can find the fish cream guy, but not, uh... Okay, well, let's go get those sesame seeds then while we're here. Since I need to make, uh, make, make some fertilized, uh... And I also need some water as well. So let's grab, let's see, should I drop... Well, I need an item anyway from here, but we can, uh... Let's drop the squirrel, I actually don't need that, so... Alright, let's, uh, fertilize... A couple of these sesame seeds. Oh, that's... Grab that. And... Let's see. Yeah, I guess we could leave the squirrel. Let's see what Herman's selling right now. 
He should have some unique. Now that the pirates are gone, he'll have very specific items he'll sell. There's two that we particularly are interested in. Malcolm, here again? I'm going to put myself on trial. Let me know how it turns out. I like to keep ahead of these things. So, what do you have for... At this... <laughs> ah, the dagger. Uh, so, we actually don't want to buy the dagger right now. Well, we, we actually don't want to do it, period. But, uh... uh but, uh, this is, this is a way to get the be most of the points of the game, but I want to do that here in a second, so... Hey, you can't take that without paying. Oh, I am neutral, aren't I? So, what will you buy? Right now, I'm buying leather. So... At this... So that, so... But that's not what we want to buy. We do want to buy it eventually just to show off something. I can't believe Herman won't be more helpful. He's not much of a patriot, is he? Don't worry. Herman will pay for his infidelities, I promise. And to buy that item, you need to specifically give him gems to buy those things, so... So, what will you... Right now, I'm buying... So... At this... Okay, a toy soldier, don't need to buy that. And you can actually end up um, running out of stuff to buy, because you have the, the uh, six gems or whatever, but if you use them all and don't get the items you need... You basically can't finish the game. So, right, I'm by. So, so keep that in moment. mind. Okay. Hey, that I think that's what I need—the crutch. So let's give him the uh, sapphire. That's fair. It's yours. All right, high roller for that. So we get the. Oops, the crutch. Yeah, we need that. So. No, we can't even. Let me see. Let me look out. Go outside and see. Huh. We actually don't get a response from uh, Malcolm for that. That's interesting, actually. Huh. Okay. Well, let's go get some water while we're here. And I should be able to now get that final eel now that I've actually fertilized the, uh, um, those things, so. Now we need to get some water. Whoops. All right. Because we want to turn those into sprouts. You probably have a pretty good idea of what we're making here, so. Ow. Because remember how the uh, the uh, voice of reason really likes ice uh, fish cream sandwiches, so we need to make some of those. So. Loaded with water. All right, sprouts. Loaded with water. Sprout. And then another eel, but we actually don't want to use it for fertilization. Great. We actually want it as an extra item. This to make, would to make the fish cream sandwiches is what what we need. So okay. I bet. Yeah. Okay. Done with that. So now let's bring all the cows back to the yard by getting that cream. Hoorah. Okay, so let's grab all the... Yeah, let's get all the cows here by dropping in the sprouts. Here they come. Those poor cows... They're addicted to sesame sprouts. They should be eating grass out on the prairie. You're right. Maybe we could start a rehabilitation program for them. Or maybe we have more important things to worry about. All right, and the animation is the same as before. It's a direct copy. What we need is the, we need the uh, um, cream. So we break that. We drop that deal. We don't need that anymore. We need to grab this. All right. Now that we've got what we want from that, let's head back to. Uh, actually, we could fix that uh, fish machine while we're here, so or the fish cream machine while we're at it. Let's see if he has a response to the crutch. We can't do anything. Yeah, I'm still surprised. There's no response from Malcolm for the crutch. Huh? That's weird. Maybe they had to rush the ending or something like that. But yeah, we need to fix this thing. So how do we fix it? Well, all it was was tipped over, right? Say, you're not a bad mechanic. Splendid. You have some unexpected capacity for honest work, I see. Big deal. If we had to wait for this moron, the machine would probably never get fixed. All right, and uh, there's one more set of points we can get. Obviously, I, you know, missed. Well, 
I the the one the only one I missed that I'm aware of is the the mouth orange peel in the mouth. But I know uh, according to the game, it says you can get 911 points. I have no idea how to do that. I I think some of those are bugged uh, to tell you to do. From what I understand, like I said, as far as I'm aware, if you can only get 855 points, and like I said, because of which version you get, you can only get I can only get like 845 or something like that. Um, but yeah, I think the rest of the points are actually bugged. Now, if someone can prove that to me that they can get 911 uh, points, ooh, uh, 911 points, uh, let me know. Because I've, I, I, I know I've not hacked this game. I don't know every single detail about it. But as far as I'm aware of, uh, all the uh, people that have played this game before me and those who are after me, this is as many points as they've figured out. Um, so I think the rest of it's bugged. So not that there's a extra reward for getting all of them as far as I'm aware of, but just to let you know, um, mm. oh yeah, actually let's make the actual fish cream. I don't know why I left. Uh, okay. Now can you make some sandwiches? Sorry, we're all out of ingredients. You bring me some eels, sesame, and cream, and I'll make you a sandwich. Yep, just like before, so, all right. I'm the only one who operates this machine, Malcolm. All right, calm down. This good, what? Okay, I don't think there's anything else. The good old fish cream machine. Yeah, we had to fix it. Boo. All right, anyway, let's get that fish cream, so. Thanks. Thanks. Oops, no one that. Thanks. Great, now we're back in business. All right, fish cream sandwich. Mm, don't eat it, by the way. Yep. Boy, it feels good to be back in business. The good old fi- All right. I'm the- All right, anyway. Oh yeah, we can actually fix those guys, by the way, if we want to. So, uh, yeah, let's let's be nice and get the- We'll get the cheese maker, too, while we're at it, so. All right, so, let me show you how to get the final set of points of the game. Now, the weird thing about these points is that- Well, I guess I'll talk about when I actually get them. Now, we need Herman to sell us a very specific item. The dagger we saw earlier. So, right now- I'm so at this oh right i forgot to grab a gem i have to go grab a gem to, to buy that thing so i'll be back all right no i mean i'm not gonna cut it there's no reason it doesn't take that long Where's to. anyway but yeah we want to buy that dagger from him and that'll get us the last set of points of the game which is weird that there's no other points before that so yeah i'll grab the, the machine and one one of these actually might as well grab the uh the king's uh image while we're here we actually don't need the the gems are now are only useful for uh um uh, oh yeah i guess we could turn them back to uh normal i guess i hope no one um amazing all right oh good. actually let's uh let's make a i was trying to make Let's save a uh, save so that way, because I think you could keep them as mice for the rest of the game. But uh, I'm going to change them back, or if it'll let me anyway. What? Why would you waste perfectly good cheese on them? I think it would be a nice gesture of reconciliation. Oh, please, please, please give us some cheese, Malcolm. Well, charity does begin at home. Calix stole the cheese from Brandon. But unfortunately, you don't get any points for that, which is weird. But, all right. All right, now that we grabbed a, a gem, let's go grab that dagger, and we'll get the final set of points in the game. Uh, by the way, by grabbing this set of points, uh, we won't be able to finish the game. Uh, there'll be an obvious so, reason here in a second. Right now, I'm... So... At, so... Right now, right. I'm buying fondue. Oops. All right, let's uh, make that save just to show it off, because, yeah, if we do this, we can't finish the game. I wouldn't buy that if I was you. We are him, you idiot. Yeah, the game's basically saying, don't do it. Seriously, you don't want to do it. That's fair. It's yours. And we get the not paying attention points, and now we cannot complete the game because of... <laughs> the game even tells us... <laughs> what's gonna happen folks so for those who are squeamish don't watch the following scene 
uh to do this so warning pg-37 rating attention the following animation sequence contains materials of excessively violent and somewhat unlikely biological nature that is not suitable for general viewing you must be at least 37 years of age or have a note from your parents to view this sequence i'm old enough dude Oops, that had to hurt. That was totally uncalled for. I'm going to have to report somebody to the authorities. Yeah, that was... That was gruesome. Oh, like for this game, oh, overall, like this game has had some silly deaths and stuff like that. But this is probably the most straight up violent part of the game. Like he straight up stabs himself. Not like the the snakes who kiss him, and that's clearly lipstick. No, he stabs himself in the stomach multiple times and kills himself. Now this is a spo technically. I, I don't know if I'd say but spoiler. I guess it's a spoiler for the end to prove his innocence that this dagger is an indication. Oh, hey, maybe Malcolm actually didn't do it on purpose because of the, the how the dagger works. So, uh, yeah, but that's it. As soon as you buy that, that gets you the maximum points of the game. Well, except for the orange peel in the mouth thing I, I missed. I might have missed another one from a reload or whatever. But 8555 is what you get. And the final points of the game is the dagger. Now, the interesting thing about that is that I think that almost considers that to be the canon ending of the game. Because that's the, that's the only way you can get those points. You can't, you can't beat the game and max out your points. It's not possible because of this. So, I almost wonder if that's what they thought the canon ending was. Is that Malcolm is about to... Uh, to uh, help Corandia, they buys the dagger and kills himself by accident. And you're like, whoops! <laughs> that would be a, definitely a dark ending to the series, that's for sure. But anyway, so uh, yeah. All right, let's go to the fish cream place and give that guy some cheese and let him get him back to normal, if he'll let us anyway. So, but yeah, that that was. I remember seeing that as when I was younger. I forgot how old I was when I played this game, mm. but I was like, holy crap! <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, you know, I'd say something a bit more extreme, but uh, you know, this is a rated T. I hope no one. This is a rated T playthrough, so no, no, no obscenities um, here for me. Fish good. <laughs> Thanks, Malcolm. I don't think you're nearly as bad as they say. Wonderful! You're becoming a caring, sensitive person after all. Caring, sensitive? No way! I'm not sure if he can actually do that on the evil path. I, th I think he'll refuse to do it or something like that, or Gunther say, no, we're not doing that. So, but yeah, so now all we have to do is get everyone there and watch the ending of the game. So let's uh, get the last few people. And, uh, well, let's, first of all, we need to talk to the queen to get her evidence for this. And then we need to get the uh, king's image to uh, show this off too, so. All right, so to get, to get the queen, we have to go back to her grave. And you figure this out, uh, the voice of reason, I think, tells you this a while back at the beginning of the game, if you gave him a fish cream sandwich then, but we need to put two flowers on her grave. Let's see if this flower will awaken Catherine. Hmm. Almost. Yeah, we need the two, so. Hey, Catherine. Murderer! You have some nerve. This is getting old quickly. <laughs> yeah, it is. How can you claim you didn't kill us? Come to my trial and I'll prove it to you. <laughs> Your hand was on the blade. William's going to be there. It should be very interesting. <laughs> I think I think I did that fast enough. I might have to. I hope I don't have to do the flowers again. We'll we'll see. I might have not have clicked it fast enough because there is a timer on her uh, on her appearance there. Let me go grab the. Uh, let me do it again just to make sure I didn't. Because she's basically supposed to convince her to come to the trial. So let me grab that broken flash. So sorry about that. I was trying to wait for the dialogue to kick so she'd actually you know we could hear. Her. So let's grab. Gotcha. <laughs> All right. Yeah, sorry about that, folks. So. Let's uh, grab that other monkey juniper and see. Make sure that the queen actually is going to come to the trial. She might have left. She might have left too quickly. Right. 
Because I'm, I'm trying to show off all the dialogue in the game, so sometimes it causes me to be a bit slower when it comes what? to reacting uh, and stuff like that. Oh, wait, what'd you say? Those royal mystic... I those royal... Weren't there more trees? Oh, that's right. I blew them... Oh, what? that was... Uh, we, we got that dialogue from the beginning of the game. Yeah, there's a lot of repeats, so... Oh, well. Let's... Let's hmm. try that again. I... Come on. How come to my... Your... Itch. How can... Come to... Okay. That's... That's good. I just wanted to make sure I got it, so... Okay. So, let's go to the Voice of Reason. And, uh, and, uh, convince him to start this trial, so. Because, uh, the fish cream guy is good. We fixed the fish creamery. Um, uh, I don't know where Xanthia is, but like I said, we can't access Darm and Brandywine, unfortunately, so. Then we have to get into the, uh, um, back end. Ow! Why aren't there in Ma Yep. Yours is a simple life. Alright, let's get this final little bit ready to go. So Show me the art. Okay. So I wanna show you the uh the image of the king. But we don't have the required seven people. I can override that requirement just long enough for us to get a preview. Malcolm did not kill us. There is a curse on the enchanted knife. Any person of royal Corandian blood who handles the blade will be stabbed to death. Yeah, that's the official way you're supposed to know not to touch the knife, or you could just let yourself get killed and get the final set of points in the game. So. Show me. Okay. I can't show him the, uh, let's see. Excellent. You have assembled all the required elements. Yeah, but how are we supposed to get the Corandians in here? They won't budge. If they won't come here, we will have to visit them in the parlor. Hey, everyone's here. Yeah, you have to give them the fish cream sandwich to initiate the final. So there's one more thing we have to do, but let's talk to everyone to see if anyone has anything to say. Fish cream? What? Okay. You just have the same dialogue. Do not waste our time. Summon your witness. Do not... W okay. Do not... Ah, uh, well, let's talk to everyone. Fish cream. Do not... Do not... Dang it. All right. Well, this is it, folks. This is the final. Actually, can we do any... Do not... Do not... Dang do it. Not, do not... Do Won't not... let me do any last minute things. All right. So this is it, folks. So as soon as we use the image on the box, that'll be it. And that's the end of the game. So, th uh, well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And uh, well, I'll talk about it during the credits. But uh, let's finish this game and prove Malcolm's innocence and finally get that nap we've always wanted. Malcolm did not kill us. There is a curse on the enchanted knife. Any person of royal Corandian blood who handles the blade will be stabbed to death. I don't think they're convinced. They think this is just a parlor trick. Isn't there any more convincing proof? Let us view the events in question. It was many years ago. Malcolm and I were alone in the dining room. We had roasted a delicious Corandian pheasant for dinner. I grasped the knife, which had been a present from an anonymous admirer. The rest you can see for yourselves. As you have seen, my faithful cousin Malcolm is innocent. I think you, Calic, 
hath particular need of delivering an apology. Congratulations, Malcolm. Nice to have you back. This whole odyssey has been annoying, but necessary, I suppose. I'm sorry, Malcolm. I owe you an apology. I love this part of my job. You! You make me sick! So, does this mean I'm your uncle? Your mother's half-cousin? Finally, a clean slate, a fresh start. Who could ask for more? Sure, but what are we going to do for fun now? I'm glad that's over. Next on my agenda is a nice long nap in my own bed. What's fun about that? Virtue is triumphant, and a job is well done. That's what's fun. Oh, yeah? Well, I... I've got an idea. Why don't you both get lost? I'll take charge from here on, thank you. At last. Congratulations! Wow! You did it all! You won! You're finished! And you scored a whole pile of points! Ever thought about doing something constructive with your life? Good evening, sir. Don't be alarmed. I've thrown down that dirt to provide a demonstration of the remarkable ZQ4000 vacuum and home hygiene system. And I'd like to demonstrate the Malcolm 4000 unwanted salesman removal system. Excuse us, but Brandon here insists on abdication. That means you, Malcolm, are the new king of Carandia. Hmm, well then, as my first official act as king, I order you two to go repair the Colossus on the Isle of Cats and turn yourselves back into mice. go folks that's the end of legend of kyrandia book three malcolm's revenge thank you brent sperry for the uh interesting game uh thank you rick gush for your written direction so uh but yeah there's a little animated thing about like what's going on and malcolm interacts with the uh, uh <laughs> with the cast there so uh well i'm not <laughs> this game is an interesting uh, breed of of game for me overall because Overall, the Legend of Kyrandia series games never really took themselves seriously. Even with the first game, you think at first they tried to take themselves so seriously, and they kind of do to a point. But it never goes, uh, thanks, Dave, Dave for, for 40, whatever. But anyway, thank you for all those that worked on this. But but yeah, you could tell even with the first game, they tried to be serious. But then, like, 
down the line, you could tell they were being a bit goofy with it by the end of the game with how Brandon acts, and then obviously with the second game and then the third game, but they were just like, yeah, this is just a silly point-and-click adventure game. So unfortunately, there were never any sequels to this game. This is the last adventure of everyone and everything. And yeah, that's the weird thing about this game. Is that it, I'm not sure how to really rate the game overall, because overall, I really like the second game more. The third game like almost went too silly and then tried to make the villain for the first game uh you know uh, like he didn't actually do any of that stuff like well then why did he act like such a jerk in the first game and tried to like you know mess with brandon the whole time like if he didn't actually do it you know what i mean like why all of a sudden he's a good guy like that doesn't even make sense even from a, maybe it's because it's a comedy so they're not they're just trying to mess with you uh but and obviously the voice the laugh track gets annoying a little bit sooner and the, the music, even though I like the music in this game, is almost weirdly out of place in this game because of the way it works. But, I don't know, there's a weird fascination about this game. Like, it's not terrible, and I think I like it. I still like the second game more, but, like, it grew on me as I was playing it again. Because I remember having a bad reaction to this game, mainly because of some of the puzzles in it. And, uh... And then playing it again, I was like, okay, I'm kind of enjoying this again because of just how stupid and silly it is at times. And Malcolm can be endearing some of the jokes in it, but I don't know if I call it a, a great game if that if that makes sense. But uh, you know, if you enjoy it, like, isn't that means it's at least a decent game or at least a good game by that point? But uh, but let me say the things I did like about. It. Like I said, I like the characterization of Malcolm was entertaining. Uh, some of the jokes were actually pretty funny. So, some of the deaths were entertaining, especially the knife death. Holy crap! Uh, ah, I was surprised some of the kids that either did some of the voices or were children of the. Uh, uh, workers on the game. Voice actors. Uh, let's see if I recognize anyone. I mean, obviously the people from the previous games. I don't think any of the voices really pop out that I remember specifically. Some of the voices worked on the other Westwood games in the franchise. And this was one of the more sillier series outside of, you know, Lands of War or Command and Conquer, which are very serious games. Malcolm Jr. was voiced by probably like someone's kid. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I think overall, I think the game is a fun point-and-click adventure game. Gave a lot of playthrough, or the way to or try to find all the points and the different endings, even though the ending is the same, but it's how you get up to the ending with being nice or uh, normal or lying mode. Um, yeah, I, I, think, I think for what it is, I think this game is fun, and I enjoyed it quite a bit, so... But yeah, I guess I'll let the rest of the credits roll, and I hope you enjoyed my playthrough of the Legend of Karandia series in general. It was a nice throwback to an old day of point-and-click adventure games, and this one being the sillier ones. It was along the lines of uh, Monkey Island. You know, it's nice to play something that is a serious one. Maybe one day I'll do a serious point-and-click adventure game just to show the difference between the two. Well, I guess I technically played Siberia, uh, which was a more serious game overall. But yeah, overall, I think I did enjoy the series playing back through it again. Uh, if I had to rate them, I'd rate them to... Hmm... One was entertaining, but I almost, because of just playing through three, I almost say it would go two, three, and one, actually. Maybe one's the weakest now that I think about it, depending on how you view things. But, uh, oh yeah, I guess I forgot to, uh, okay, let me do one thing really quick before we go. I actually forgot to do this during the, um, during when I played the game originally. I forgot to go over the manual. Uh, I think I did that in the second game as well. But yeah, unfortunately, the game just kind of cuts off after the credits. So yeah, it's, uh, this is uh, through GOG. This is uh, the um, uh, manual that I has for it. Man, look at the creepy art for, for book three. That's one of the versions of the of the book art or whatever. So uh, let's see. Let's see where the introduction is. Because I, yeah, I think I forgot uh reading the intro to it actually i don't even think there's really a story thing i think it's just how to play the game overall yeah and unfortunately i don't have any music playing here or everything like that so i could pop up the game again and run through the credits while we're here yeah let me double check but yeah i think it's just a how to play the game there wasn't really much there wasn't really a a, a story that's probably why i didn't actually read it in the first place so let's pop it in again and run through the credits one more time yeah a little behind the scenes stuff now that the game's over but uh uh, well, I guess we'll just leave it on the intro then. So, but yeah, I, I probably should have finished my outro a little bit quicker before the credits ended. Uh, but yeah, overall, I'd have to say two, three, and one. Now that I think about it, because one is a fun game, and they but it, it's different because they try to make it a standard point-click adventure game, similar to like King's Quest. But then halfway through the game, it seemed like they wanted to do something more silly instead. So 
they that so the idea changed a little bit and it wasn't until the second game where they went yeah we're just gonna make this a serious plot but we're gonna just have fun with it and then the third game they just went straight up comical for the most part with malcolm uh yeah playing through this game really changed my opinion on the game again because i remember being annoyed with this game as a, when i was younger or not enjoying it as much and then playing through it again maybe because i've loosened my opinions on certain things i still enjoy I enjoyed it playing through it again, despite some of the difficulties, like the, the jungles and stuff like that, having to map out the jungle. That was one of the more annoying parts of the game was the Isle of Cats because of that. Um, and the puzzles weren't super difficult. There were a few weird uh, weird uh, esoteric puzzles in the game, but for the most part, nothing too, no, too uh, annoying to finish. I kind of wish uh, some of the characters from the previous games had a bit more interaction, like Xanthi and Brandon being the main characters that Brandon becomes well actually technically Brandon was always whiny so he just it just shows he's more whiny when he was king and that little ending credit sequence where everyone's kept bugging uh, Malcolm to wake up uh yeah too bad Mal uh Xanthi didn't have a or actually I'm surprised they didn't have Marco make an appearance in the game for being the final game in the series you think they would have had more people uh pop up I guess that was the point of the parlor scene where all the enemy or all the people in the background are are sprites for the previous games so, but yeah, too bad they never made any more of this game series. I think it wasn't too long afterwards that Westwood was bought by EA or whatever. Because Westwood uh, did this series, they did the Land of War series, and then they did Command & Conquer. And then I think they got bought by EA by that point. Um, one day I'd need to play the Lands of War series. Those were good games, at least the first one. Wasn't too f big a fan of the later series, entries in that series. And then Command & Conquer, for sure. One day. I'm, never, I'm not very good at that series, but I really like that series. At least up to a point, anyway, so... But anyway, that's it for Malcolm's Revenge, Legend of Kyrandia Book 3. Uh, that's it for the series. Where I'll go from here. Maybe another point-click adventure game. Maybe something a bit different. Maybe something serious. But uh, I hope you enjoyed the whole playthrough overall. I enjoyed going through these all over again. Racking my brain to solve all this stuff. Trying to find everything you could. I know I didn't find everything. And I didn't go through every single dialogue. And I know... Uh, I thought about maybe doing a bonus episode of the Good Path and the e Line Path. But like I said, it's the same. Up to the... Uh, up to uh, proving yourself not guilty. That's uh, basically the same. The only thing that changes is the dialogue uh, uh, and uh, uh, Malcolm's responses, but pretty much it's the same ending. So there's really no three different endings like they make lead you to believe. It's just a lead up to the final section of the game. But um, And some of the puzzles are different. So I might do that. depends on if people really want it or something like that. Because like I said, it doesn't change things too much. I think the neutral, end the neutral path makes more sense because then you... Forrest Gunther and Stewart to work together with you, even though they don't really add much, but they still force themselves to work together. I think that makes more sense logistic from a story standpoint and maybe from a comedic standpoint. So anyway, that's it. I've rambled on too long. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next game.